The Clearing, Season 1, Episode 7, Thoughts. This episode is called This Too Shall Pass. So, yeah, spoilers for these first seven episodes. And this was another episode that I absolutely loved. So, yeah, we start at the trial where Freya loses custody of Max and Christine at first tries to give a more, you know, what's it called? She tries to, to give an answer that is more careful, but she has to give a yes or no answer, and yeah, she, she says, no, I don't think she should have custody, and you know, I'm, I'm guessing that's part of the reason that their relationship is so strained. You know, Freya blames Christine, you know, again, more than she blames Adrienne. It's, it's a very, yeah, you know, that's the kind of thing, because Adrienne was the one that was there when she was a child, Christine only took over later, and yeah, so it's it's twisted, but it is sadly that is something that you see with with cults and other child abuse. And let's see, yeah, and they're still calling her Amy, so you know, it, you can imagine this is part of why she changed her name to Freya. And, you know, Freya comes to say goodbye to, to Max, you know, right before she gets on the bus. But Max won't look at or talk to Freya. She'll say goodbye to Billy, but not Freya. Which, I mean, that's still it's better than nothing. Because Bill, Billy did not have anything to do with Freya's, uh, yeah. And, yeah, we see... Um, let's see. Yeah, you know, Wayne says, you know, he never blamed Freya, he blamed Adrienne for, you know, Freya not taking care of, of Max, the car. And I appreciate that during the trial it's pointed out, you know, because of the heat, leaving such a small child alone in the car, you know, she could have died there. And, let's see, right, and then, yeah, Anton and Freya argue yet again, and we hear that the wedding, you know, Adrian has been invited to the wedding, which is just so, just messed up. I, I don't... I didn't end up writing it down, so I'll just say it here, you know, later when, you know, I'm not, I'm not 100% certain of her name, but she said she had osteoporosis, and that's why she, you know, she, she uses a, a wheelchair, she can't stand up for long periods of time, and, you know, when, when she realizes Adrienne is there, she, I mean, it's just, it's essentially a panic attack, you know, which is completely understandable reaction, and she, she asks the bride, you know, why didn't, why didn't anyone tell me she was coming? And the bride just says, it's my day, I can invite whoever I want, which, again, you know, that's, that's the kind of, like, there's no empathy for anyone not in the in-group. You know, that's that's one of the things with, with a cult. You know, it is this closed-off society. And, yeah, she, she legit, like, that wasn't even, she, she wasn't saying, you can't invite her. She was saying, you should have told me you were inviting her. And, yeah, you know, like, again, that's the thing, you know, she's not even... She's not even answering the question that was asked. She's she decides to answer a different question, to so you know that's a way to avoid a debate that you know you might lose. And let's 
see. Yeah, uh, you know, Freya tells Adrian, if you're restarting the kindred, I won't be silent. And Adrian just responds, you know what will happen if you don't. If you if you stop, you know, and yeah, we see Adrian visited Freya at the hospital and got her out, you know, basically doing the reverse of what she did to her own mother. But, you know, yeah, now she's using it, she's threatening it, you know, and this is common for cults. They control people by having something on them. You know, it's also something you see with, like, mafia and and that kind of thing you know it's like fundamentally it means you don't really trust people if you think that you need to have something on them something to threaten and let's see. and yeah uh, mohammed says that you know adrian must not have dementia, and, you know, it, he does make a good case that, you know, she is actually reading the book, and it's the kind of thing that you can understand, like, that's the kind of thing you would slip up on, because you just, you need something, you know, she, she doesn't really, she gets very few visitors, she, she can't, you know, so, so yeah, she, she reads, and, you know, Freya tells him, you know, if you lose this job, you know, you, you won't be able to send home, send, send money home. And, you know, if you, if people think you're lying, you're, you're saying that a woman with dementia is just faking it, you'll be in trouble. You know, Freya learned this as a kid. She, she also doesn't, you know, she doesn't try to like reason with him. She doesn't try to appeal to his empathy. She just pressures him with the, you know, just, so yeah. And, yeah, so, so Freya convinces Joe to meet her at the lodge, but it's empty, and it is this thing, you know, again, it's not, it's still not completely clear if the kindred is being restarted or not. And the, yeah, Adrienne heard Freya say that she knows what's going on, and Bryce saw, you know, maybe he didn't recognize that it was Freya, but, you know, so, so yeah, it, you know, you could see how maybe they would have had enough time to clear out the, the place. And Freya tells Joe at least some of the truth, and he points out that he lost everything because of this. You know, he lost his family. You know, his, his, what was it, his wife, my wife doesn't want to know what I'm doing. My kids won't even speak to me, you know. And, you know, he, he insists, I, why would have defended you? You know, she explains the thing about the, the medical, you know, that, that they could put her back in, in the, in the hospital. And, you know, yeah, he insists, I could defend you. And she says, no. You couldn't. No one can. And, yeah, so we're back, and, and you know, Joe is being told about the, the Adrian, you know, not fit to stand trial, which, you know, we, we already know before seeing this flashback that she's, that, you know, it's, it's fake. And, you know, the, the, I guess, police chief says, it's as good as prison, and we can tell Joe does not feel that way at all. You know, and it is, like, obviously both are frustrated, both want her to be in prison, but, you know, Joe is too obsessed with it because he, like, you know, essentially he thinks, like, what if, what if that was one of my kids? You know, he has kids, you know, maybe the other, maybe his boss doesn't, but... You know, it's also, maybe his boss, you know, he knows sometimes this is as good as it gets. You don't always get results that you, you know, and it's better than nothing. It's better than her complete freedom. And, yeah, and, and when Freya 
takes Billy to stay at Wayne's, you know, he, like, the moment that Billy hears that there's something tasty in the kitchen, he just runs off, barely even says goodbye to Freya, because she doesn't show him that much, you know, affection. And... Yeah, and, and she mentions, you know, your name should be on Billy's birth certificate. And... Yeah, and then we see, you know, after she lost the... Yeah, let's see, so this is after she lost Max, and after she was let out of the hospital because of Adrienne, I guess, and... Yeah, you know, they... She and Wayne talk about Max, and, you know, they do miss each other, you know, they did fall in love once, and... You know, so so there is still some something there, and you know they they have sex, and this is of course how he fathers Bilbo. And I really appreciate that the show did not feel the need to show a sex scene. You know, if this had been made in like the '80s or '90s, there would almost definitely have been. And it's just it's completely unnecessary. You know, what what is there the the you know, ideally you'll want a sex scene to be communicating something, and, you know, what what is there to communicate that the conversation right before it didn't already communicate really well. So, yeah, I appreciate that. And they also don't, like, show nudity or anything, because that's not what this is about. It's, you know, it's showing that they do still feel some, you know, there's still feelings there, positive feelings there, but... It's not about, you know, in, in general, you know, the, the, again, I haven't really seen Teresa Palmer in anything else, but I know some people think of her as just, you know, the, she, she's in some horror movies and some people thought that she was only there because she's conventionally attractive and I don't know if she was always as talented as she shows she is here, but, you know, yeah, I did. She definitely. The reason she's on this show is because she's so freaking talented. Now, let's see. Yeah, and and you know, in bed afterwards, you know that that's where. Yeah, before and after the sex, there's something important to communicate. You know, Freya says maybe one day we could be family, the three of us, and. Wayne, you know, he says, you know, I, I don't know, Freya, I don't know if, you know, I'm, I'm not sure we should do that to Max, you know, and, yeah, I, I really appreciate, it because that is, like, you know, it's not that he just hates her now or something, he does still feel positive things for her, but there's a, you know, that doesn't mean that he's okay with them, you know, just, so yeah. And then we're at the wedding, and we get the, the flashbacks, you know, showing, you know, yeah, this is the first time that Freya has seen the Kindred kids in many, many years. So, yeah, you know, when she first sees them, it's like, oh, right, that... I, actually, maybe it's more for the audience's benefit, but anyway, yeah, the, you know, and, yeah, and Adrian and Anton at the wedding, and, right, Bryce and Henrik, and, you know, Bryce says that they would have liked to, to visit or send letters, but the, you know, we just couldn't, the lawyers, and this. And, you know, he says, you, you were very loyal. We want to reward that. And, you know, Henrik says, I need Freya's tape. And uh, Bryce claims, oh, that's long gone. But that we do later in this episode see he it is still around. We should probably transfer it from VHS to another format and just so not lose it. But anyway, you know, the, the yeah. So, so even with that, he's still lying to him. He's still not telling him the full truth. And, 
yeah, you know, Bryce is, you know, he's, the pe people are coming by to, to listen, and yeah, you know, we have this discredited popular, you know, doctor who, or he had, he had a doctorate, who has now been discredited, but there are still some people who believe in what he says, really reminds me of that anti-vax doctor who was, you know, I, d I do not remember his name, but it was something about that he, like, he wanted to discredit the, the common vaccine so he could make his own and have it, you know, yeah, basically make a ton of money by him being the only person, or the only property, making the vaccine for everyone. And, you know, yeah, why com completely discredited, and yet there's still people who believe him. So, you know, I, do, I don't know if that's, if I'm meant to make that connection, but, you know, it does go to show, yeah, even, you know, even today in real life, you do still have people who are connected to something awful. You know, if some people really believe in that, in, in certain things they're putting out there, yeah. And yeah, so we are back at the wedding and yeah, you know, she says I can't be near her and one of the others says I'll call a taxi. And then we hear, you know, one of the right Aaron apparently hanged himself. You know, and yeah, because Adrian when he learned that Adrian was not going to be made to stand trial, you know, and yeah, you can completely understand. And I, I really appreciate the the description, you know, this thing of oh, you know, the, it was like at first I couldn't even see. It looked like he was just standing, and then I heard the rope and realized he'd hanged himself. And I felt like an idiot for talking to someone who was already dead. But yeah, that's you know, I've I've heard similar accounts of people who found someone who had hanged themselves. And we see casual racism again. That you know, Joe is com compared to Osama bin Laden because he doesn't like drinking alcohol. You know, which very much places this after 9/11. And that's also, you know, the the his boss, the the other police guy, you know, about to throw a stapler. He brings up, you know, after 9/11. You know, for for a you know you as a Muslim to be breaking the law, that's you know people are gonna freak out. They're gonna think that we don't that we have a huge terrorism problem here or something. And yeah, and and you know Joe caught Colin, and he gets him to confess and you know Colin points out if I was still working with him do you really think you know don't don't you think I would have tipped her off from the arrest in France which does make a ton of sense because it really like you'd think she could easily have gotten away from there if she knew that they were coming and yeah you know r right after we see Joe you know, he gets the key, unlocks, goes in, and then immediately we see that it didn't go well because the he's being yelled at, and, you know, he says, If you say one word, I will toss this stapler at your head. I'm sorry. That's a... That's, that's not a very good accent. I should not... Yeah. Sorry about that, Arts Cafe, if you're, if you're watching. I... I'm absolutely butchering the 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 accent of I guess yeah I guess it's not it's not quite an Irish accent but it is like similar in in the in in the vein of related to so yeah I should I should stop doing that and yeah it's it took them seven episodes but they did get to I need your gun and badge. And Joe overhears Anton and the other talking about him, 
you know, ab about the investigation not going well and just, yeah, that's... And, uh, you know, the, the um, yeah, I, I didn't, I don't remember the other guy's name, but, you know, he confronts, confronts Adrienne and says, Aaron isn't here because you fucking killed him. And the fact that, like, I get it. I get that Adrienne is trying to uphold this illusion that she's got dementia, but the fact that she says, do I know an Aaron, is just, like, she knows what she's doing. She's rubbing salt in the wound. And, uh, you know, the yeah, the guy points out, I see you hugging her. You never hugged us. And, you know, yeah, there, there was that thing you know, early, yeah, early in the episode where, you know, I, th I think it was the bride who said, can't, can't you get over it or get past it, you know, I did, you know, as if that's something that everyone, she's also ignoring the fact that she wasn't the youngest, you know, the, the one who got osteoporosis was the, let's see, I think they said she was the youngest and she didn't get enough to eat, and yeah, that can lead to permanent you know physical yeah like we like we see and have briefly described so let's see and yeah and and joe looks at the, the paper with the quran verse about a curse and one thing that sets off freya is adrian telling the little girl your hair is pretty which is also just oh wow that's that's a red flag. That's a that's 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 more than a red flag. That's like dancing around, waving multiple red flags in every possible direction. That's just and Joe, who we've seen, you know, he keeps pouring down drinks and you know replacing from the from the. At one point, he takes one of the you know. There's the guy standing there holding drinks that you can just get and. You know, he picks up one cup, one glass, and pours what's in there into another, which I'm not an expert on alcohol, but I'm pretty sure the portions are there for a reason. It's not just like, eh, whatever, we'll just keep pouring until whatever. No, that's, there's a reason there's not that much in, in one. And yeah, so he get, goes up and gives a drunk speech, brings up how his own marriage failed, and talks about, you know... It, marriage is about love and family and trust and the truth, but this woman doesn't know anything about any of those, and he even says she's faking her dementia, which, you know, I don't know if that's when it became that, you know, by the end of the episode, we realize that Henrik has kidnapped Bilbo. Maybe that was as a direct, you know, retaliation for that, I, I don't know if if Henrik is acting on behalf of the the others because like apparently the the uh, the flute or recorder or whatever it's called that he made for Bilbo, you know that was apparently before he had seen Bryce after leaving the the prison. So yeah, but but you know if it isn't, then for sure there's going to be consequences for Freya because who else? could possibly have given that important piece of information to Joe. There's just so, yeah. And Anton attacks Joe to defend Adrienne, and one of the other guys also gets involved. Just, yeah. Honestly, as far as, like, messy weddings go... A top 10 for me. I'm kidding. It's it's horrific. It's just, yeah. And, you know, Freya is, you know, get, gets into the car and, you know, um, the, the, ah, uh, I, there's too many names in the show. I, um, but yeah, one of the, you know, she's, ah, I'm not, a, I guess you met my boy Tyler. And then she says, we are the initiates. And, you know, Frey's like, what did you say? And Anton comes right, oh, I've got to go, got to go. Just, that's, yeah. Again, they, they keep just getting these little, 
you know, something will be said or, or shown or something that, yeah, really makes you worry that the kindred is still active. And, yeah, we see Henrik near Freya's house, and Leo knows, but it, you know, doesn't get the, you know, because cause Leo is standing there, like, looking up at the, you know, because... Um, I guess with a name like Leo, I'm going to go ahead and assume male dog, you know, he can tell there's, there's got to, you know, there's a new smell here. And, you know, he's, he's standing there like looking directly at the, the place where Henrik is hiding. But, you know, Billy and Freya don't, you know, I think, you know, Billy is on top of the world because he finally got to socialize with someone else you know, and Freya is really happy that he's so happy, you know, when, whenever, when, if your kid is, like, geeking out about dinosaurs, that's a pretty good sign, that's, uh, yeah, and then Leo starts barking once the, you know, once Freya is under, and, and just, yeah, and, she she comes back up, but Billy is gone, and just yeah, I I cannot wait to see the the season one finale. It's it's gonna be such a long week to wait to see. Um, yeah, and it's you know, it's what Henrik was trained by the cult to do. So yeah, the the it it. We can, we can completely believe, you know, and it was also something that, you know, early in this season, um, she actually was worried that there was going to be, that, that he was going to be taken. Now, let's see, okay, this was updated nine hours ago. The clearing has not been renewed for a second season yet. So I really hope that they are willing to finish off the... You know, I, I hope that the ending is one of those where it's like, okay, you could see how they could do a sequel, but if they never do a sequel, you can also, like, mentally finish the story off. Like, the way that... Yeah, it's not a spoiler to say. The way that Blade Runner 2049, I'm not going to get into details. I'm just going to point out that ending, like, 100%. You know, if they never make another sequel, if they had made a sequel the very next year, if they make a sequel and it's been less than 30 freaking years, 35 years, I guess it was. Wow. Anyway, you know, they you can easily you could easily see how they could continue the story. But it is also the kind of thing where, yeah, whether, whether it gets a continuation or not. So I, I'm hoping for that. It's been a while since I was really frustrated with an unexpected cliffhanger ending that then doesn't get resolved. So I'm really hoping the season finale will not do that. But, yeah, um... Holy crap. I'm, I, yeah, I'm really, really excited. Like, I watched, you know, we, we've, we're, Secret Invasion had its second episode today also, and that one I am also extremely excited about, but, like, yeah, I, if I had to say, like, yeah, let's, hypothetically, let's say that next Wednesday I have to choose you know, I can I can watch either the f season finale of the clear. It's also not completely fair to compare, you know, halfway through the season to the season finale, which, you know, it'll only be yeah. In one week from now, we'll we'll be halfway through Secret Invasion. So, but yeah, right now I am actually more excited about the clearing, which yeah, I I I feel like I just took Kevin Feige's name in vain or something. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go to go to church and and you know say say fifty make my marvels. Yeah, um, holy crap! I'm I'm really excited for uh, for that. So, 
yeah, that looks like it'll be it for what I record today. Tomorrow, Thursday, I should be able to do... I, there will be some, some busy, but I should be able to make time for... Otherwise, I'll try to do it... I'll, I'll definitely try to do at least one episode this week. Um, of... of uh, see, my mind is going... On my, I cannot stop thinking about the clearing, but I have nothing more to say, so I'm just going to... Anyway... Scream Queens, I'm going to do an episode before the week is out, and I'm also going to be doing a movie, so I hope to catch you then, and if you have, like, a theory for what you think might happen in the season one finale of The Clearing, please put it in the comments. I would love to, to theorize about it, so, yeah, with that said, bye.